Namaste. Welcome to Geeta's Kitchen. Today is a very special video. Today we are going to have some food for thought. So quite different from the recipe videos which I usually show you. I have prepared a simple regular home style menu as you do, as we do every day for our lunch. A typical menu. That is we have some vegetable rice, then sambar, rasam and buttermilk and uh, maybe on special days a little bit of payasam. This is the typical South Indian uh, menu and uh, while I was preparing this today, I was reminded of a speech uh, or an explanation given by uh, my most revered guru, Paramacharya of Kanchi. So he has the ability to tell the most profound things in such a subtle way that even a layman can understand it so well. And here he shows how food is so significant and our understanding of food and how it affects the quality of life. See, in uh, South India, we have a, uh, an order in which the items are served on the banana leaf. So although initially we just serve a drop of payasam and then the courses which we eat, first we have a sambar rice, also known as sambar sadam. Next course is the rasam rice or rasam sadam. And finally the more sadam. Thai if it is curd, more if it is buttermilk. In a typical South Indian style, payasam is served after rasam, before more or before curd. It is not served as a dessert as the western concept, but you have sambar, rasam then payasam and finally more. Now what is the significance of this? Let me show you as I serve it out on this leaf. I have earlier on spoken to you about the six tastes or the shad rasas. That is sweet, sour, salty, spicy, astringent and bitter. Similarly we also have navarasas that is nine different ways when uh, which one expresses their emotion as in Bharatanatyam. So we have uh, Shringar Rasa which shows love, Hasya which shows laughter, Karunya compassion, Veera courage, Bayanaka that is fear, Raudra that is anger and uh, Bhibatsa is disgust, Adbhuta surprise or wonder and Shanta means peaceful. So when we come to food also, the uh, way in which the food is served, it is something very very unique and special. It's not that we have all these items and we eat it in any order. So to prove this point, it is uh, said that once Mahapiriva was having a discussion with uh, many of the people who had come over to see him and he very casually and jokingly asked, what is the difference between uh, sambar and rasam? In fact, today many of my subscribers also ask me that same question, especially those who are not familiar with South Indian food. And uh, then people were surprised why is Mahapiriva asking such a question? And then one person said, well, sambar is served first and then rasam next. Is there any other difference? Well, both of them have dal, they have uh, spices, and uh, maybe they have some heing or asafoetida in it and what else then somebody said yes sambar has got vegetables in it and rasam does not yes sometimes we add tomatoes but you can make rasam without tomatoes also so see this, like this the discussion went on but nobody could really uh, understand what the point which periva was trying to make and then he said let me explain it to you so today I have made some uh, kire kute kire means greens and then I have a sambar I have used uh, brinjal today so depending on the vegetable use the sambar get it, gets its name so brinjal is katrika so katrika is sambar or ventaka sambar if I am using lady's finger this is rasam here I have some payasam and this is moor or buttermilk some uh, hot rice with some ghee on it South Indian diet is a very very balanced diet also because it has carbohydrates from the rice, protein from the dal, vitamins and minerals from your vegetables and uh, we get uh, fat from the little bit of ghee, a very very wholesome food. 
Now coming to Paramacharya's explanation on this, he says, first we serve sambar. And in Tamil, this vegetable which is added to the sambar is called as thaan. Thaan also has got another meaning as ego, myself, me, that is thaan. Okay, so when you look at the sambar, just have a look at the consistency. See, it is quite murky. There is dal, there is some tamarind, there are maybe one or more vegetables. And that is how life begins for most of us when we are born. And as we grow, we have so many varied experiences. There is so much of confusion and with it comes the ego and the pride and our own uh, negativity and all so many other things that our ego comes to the forefront. I am the biggest one. I know more than what uh, he or she knows and things like that. So at that time, our mental condition is a very confused one like sambar which is a which is an amalgamation or a mixture of many vegetables, dal, tamarind and so on. Very very murky. We are still very confused because of the presence of taan. Here though taan refers to the vegetable piece, taan refers to your ego. And then as time passes, as you get more clarity and uh, you become more mature, you realize that ego is not very very important in your life and one needs to get rid of the ego. Give place to others, accept others views, look for others opinion in many matters and give up your ego. That is when next after the sambar comes the rasam. If you have a look at the rasam, see. Rasam is something which is very very clear and has got a lot of clarity. That is why after the ego goes, then comes the rasam where your mind is very clear and calm. It is only when your mind becomes clear and calm like the rasam. Next we are served the sweetness of payasam. Payasam is very sweet. When can you, when will you be able to enjoy any sweetness in your life? Only when your mind is clear. You have a lot of clarity in your thoughts. No negativity, no egoistic uh, feelings, no confusion. From sambar, your mind has become like a rasam. And now it's ready to enjoy the sweetness of the payasam. And then after that, the final course is rice. We mix with this mori or buttermilk. So first rice, one portion, we mix with sambar, have it as course one. Next, some rice, we mix with rasam, rasam sadam. Sambar sadam, rasam sadam completed. Then payasam is served on the plate. We have payasam and finally it ends with more. Now how do we get more? More is buttermilk. So first we take milk, milk is boiled and when it cools to room temperature, we add the starter and set it into curd. So milk changes to curd. Pal changes to thai. That is the Tamil for milk and curd. And then we collect the cream from the curd. And then that cream is churned. When we churn that, what do we get? Wholesome butter. And when that butter is melted, we get ghee. And what is left over after churning? is this buttermilk in which all the fat and cream from the original curd has been removed. Now this buttermilk is the final stage in your life. That is final stage in the sense when you get enlightenment and when you realize that you are absolutely insignificant in this presence of this magnificent universe, call it universe, call it God, call it what you will. But you are a very very insignificant person and that's how Finally, we come to the stage of more, that is of buttermilk, after which there is nothing left to realize, nothing left to take, your meal is over, then you just have to leave the banana leaf and walk away. So, such a beautiful explanation and this uh, wisdom of our culture, which is blended into our everyday life, is something very very unique and special so today i leave you with this food for thought and with this significant meaning uh, 
विच हैज बीन एक्सप्लेन्ड सो ब्यूटिफुली बाय आर परमाचार्य जय जय शंकर हर हर शंकर थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग गीता किचन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू गीता किचन एंड मीट अगेन विद अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग एपिसोड फ्रॉम गीता किचन थैंक यू